Uh, Charlie, so you've captained the team this season and uh, you've, you've captained them to uh, the, the first trophy in, in many years of, of any kind. So, uh, what, what, does, what different challenges does captaining the team bring that maybe not captaining not bring? Um, you kind of have to you know, like, try to control your players, like these two here, they're a couple of hotheads really, you know, they've got a bit of talent behind them, but you know, you've know, got you to calm them down. You know. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously uh, Banger Grammar Rugby runs deep in your family, so uh, have, have they won anything? Uh, no, I don't think they have. <laughs> uh, no, um, I don't think any of them did. No. And uh, talk us through the emotions there of uh, lifting up the trophy. Yeah, no, it was great to win a trophy, but I think all the lads kind of... <laughs> you know, kind of realised that we shouldn't really be this low in the competition. Banger Grammar, as a school, shouldn't really be here, and we would. <coughs> we have the coaching and the players now to really push on. You know, like the medallions in the semi-finals of the actual shield and stuff like that. And hopefully next year we'll be really challenging for the Stools Cup. It was very disappointing in the Grosvenor match, and we haven't really mm. got over that. But it was, you know, it's nice to win at the end of the season. And yeah. Yeah, your last game is BGS, but I think for BGS mm -hmm. in the future it should definitely be Stools Cup, yeah. not Bowls. We're looking at. No, yeah. For you today, there were two tries. Uh, were you surprised? As surprised as I was? <laughs> no. <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> I went over the the, the try line a couple of times this season, Simon. So, and I wasn't too shocked. <laughs> Another fine performance. Uh, but your last performance for the school? Yeah, it's a sad day. Mixed emotions, so it is. Yeah. Um, but it's just good for the school, so it is. So, how does this compare with the medallion bowl uh, you won? Two or three, or three years ago. This is a much better show because uh, it's obviously our last game yeah. for the school, so it feels a lot better. And <laughs> is this then going to be what you remember, your time at Bangor? Is this sort of the, the abiding memory going forward? <laughs> yeah, one of a few good memories, so yeah. yeah. Uh, another great performance today, a big win over Regent. Does the fact that it's a North Down Derby make it all the more exciting? Oh yeah, getting beaten Regent, the Derby game is always such a good good feeling, especially at the end of the end of the season and end of our time here. Just great to get a good win over them yeah. and finish strong. Yeah, yeah. The scoreline flattered us a little bit, they played well, ultimately no try though. Yeah, we were just defensively so strong and you know, put them back every time and just great carrying from all forwards and backs today just showed that we were really dominant by the end. I think the scoreline reflects that. Yeah. A couple of key turnovers and uh, very dangerous territory there really sort of made the win, didn't it? Yeah, it really so saved that. us and but we just showed that we you know we would be clinical and we'd be accurate in our defence when we were defending. Yeah. But Aaron, you've uh, you've really slotted into this team well this year and uh, uh, a lot of tries. So uh, what's it like playing with guys who've already been here for a few seasons? Oh, it's great because then everyone's learned to accept you, so it's it's great. Like I was properly accepted, and they all took me along on the team. And you know these boys have the experience, which I didn't. So. Fantastic try from you today. Uh, you uh, you did well there. Yeah, well. I didn't do much to the boys, just kept working for me, they, they were the ones who got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they set me up, I had a nice walk in the corner, it was all hard work paid off, just can't right. trust the systems. Now you boys will be here next season, uh, do you think that you can set up uh, maybe maybe a longer run in the Schools Cup next year as a result of it? Yeah, I definitely think so, because the experience that we've gained from this year and the older year group and the med medallions coming through, you know, semi-final of the proper medallion shield and uh, what those upper six have formed for us now, it's, we're back to rugby skills, so I definitely think we could go further next year. Both of your dads actually played in the last Schools Cup winning team for Bangor 30 years ago next year. 30 years, uh, it's too long in my book. Yeah, yeah, I think we all agree. Now, uh, today you got two tries of your own, uh, a few conversions as well on the penalty. Yeah. Uh, bagging the points is really one of your strongest uh, strongest aspects, isn't it? Oh, look, I've been out for, I was out for 10 months there. Yeah. I've only played seven games a season, so. Okay, and uh, looking back on the Schools Cup, you know, Groven are a bit of a disappointment. Yeah. Uh, we should have won. I mean, we scored the points, didn't we? Oh, we definitely should have won. I think it was a, b a bit of a of discipline issue uh, cost yeah. us that yeah. much. I uh, I never asked you, I don't think at the time, about that try that was disallowed. It was perfectly legal, wasn't it? Um, well, as far as I could see, it was perfectly legal. <laughs> I think I think the video uh, backs that up. Next season, then, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe improve on the schools cup and maybe mount a longer run. Oh, definitely, that uh, is ideal. Obviously, um, last year we got to the quarterfinals, and yeah. uh, we put in a pretty a pretty poor performance against Dalriada. So obviously, would be uh, we want to rectify that. And, uh, just a cheeky question then: With uh, might you be our captain next year? Oh well, if Jason chooses me, I'll be I'll be glad to take the honour.